Hello, my name is Frank Silverman, Executive Director for the Martial Arts Industry Association, and I want to walk you through a system that we've been doing for years since the inception of Maya, but holds true today just like it did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, heck, 30 years ago, and it's how to do a Father's Day seminar. And the idea is to, candidly, do two things. One, have a great retention tool, but more importantly, try and get, or maybe not more importantly, but just as importantly is get fathers or parents to sign up for martial arts class. Together, Maya and Century have put together a package that gives you the information, how to promote it, how to do it, and how to purchase the camo belt, which is kind of the guy's belt uh, for, for the parents. And everything together is key. First and foremost, I'm going to suggest that you host a Father's Day class the Friday or Saturday before Father's Day. It absolutely, positively has to be free. Now, I like the idea of having a special Father's Day class where people sign up and they come to it. It's the father and their children. That being said, there's nothing wrong with doing a Father's Day class during regular classes, but I'll tell you why I like it and why I don't like it. What I like about it is you get like 100% participation. You just do it during class, pass out the certificates I'll talk more about, pass out the flyer, well, pre four class, and you do this during classes so everybody has to participate. I like that, better participation. What I don't like is sometimes it puts people on the spot and then they feel awkward because a dad comes in his suit or a dad comes, doesn't want to participate, and then we kind of force them or shame them into it. So there's positives and negatives. But either way you do this, you're going to want to have a sign up. You're going to want people to sign up and commit to coming to the class. They got to put their name down because it's important because everybody that graduates, that does the class, is going to get a certificate of rank, their camo belt. Okay, and everybody is also going to get their camo belt when they actually pass. Now, I want you to think about this. I want to skip to the end of this. They come to class. They do this on Friday or they do this on Saturday, and then they get their belt and they, they get their certificate. I guarantee you that's going up on the refrigerator door or it's going to work with them, and that's a topic of conversation. So the marketing efforts behind this in your school go far beyond just possibly signing up your, your, your parents. It goes into the workforce, into the community, which also means taking this a step further. This is something you have to be videoing. You have to be posting this. You have to be putting this on your website, Facebook, everything, so people see that there's parents and the involvement they have with their children in the school. Next thing is, this is of all ages. If you've got 12, 13, 14-year-old students, they can bring their parents too. Even students that are in the adult class, you're thinking kids, the adult class, bring them as a guest as well. So there, there's no age limit to who participates in this. But the key that you really want is to, one, get people to attend, and then two is the class. What we do in the class is ever so important. So let's talk, why do people, why do adults want to sign up for martial arts, not just fathers? One, they want to do an activity with their child. Two, they might want to get in shape. And three, it might be something that they've always wanted to do, they just never did as a child. Remember, 30 years ago, martial arts, there wasn't as many schools uh, as there were today. So. It's very important that we recognize those three reasons. We want to get them on the floor. Then the question is, what do we do in the class? Well, I'm going to walk you through piece by piece what to do. Very first thing is we do a light warm-up. The goal here is not to show them how out of shape they are to where they want to get in shape before actually signing up, but the goal is to show them they could get in better shape. So we're going to do a light warm-up. Get the body flowing, jogging in place, maybe 15, 20 jumping jacks. Keep in mind, someone who doesn't work out at all that's a little overweight, 25 jumping jacks might be too much at first. So just a light warm-up. Then some light stretching. I like stretching on the ground where you have contact with the student and the parent. So the, the parent's sitting down on the ground, feet straight in front, and the child's pushing their back lightly. Obviously, keep a very tight grip on the students and the parents not to overstretch or overexert themselves. Okay? Feet wide apart, stretch. Hold their feet for some crunches or sit-ups. Okay? Now, 
That's the child doing that for the parent. Now the parent does that for the child as well, light stretch. Then they're gonna get up and they're gonna do essentially a horse on guard stance or a horse stance and basic punches, whatever system you like. You can do it in a horse stance, basic punches. You can do it on guard, basic punches. Punches are easy. They're gonna do that in the air. So you're gonna say jab, jab, reverse, and teach everybody how to actually do proper technique. Drill should be done in sets of seven or eight. We don't wanna get bored. Again, the object is not to create black belts. The object is create retention and new members. So if you were doing just simple jab, reverse, it'd be jab, reverse. That's one, two, no more than eight of those, okay? Students can do those together with the parents. Then we pull out a square target and the student holds the square, actually the parent holds the square target for the student first. Then the student holds the target for the parent. Once they've done that, they're effectively taking their first martial arts lesson. Okay, we've got them on the floor. They're training, they're hitting the bag. Now, next thing we wanna do is some push-ups. And I have a system to this. 10 push-ups, that's it. I did my very first class with adults 30 years ago, brought the adults in and made them do 100 push-ups. Cause I could do 100 push-ups like that back in the day. Okay, I wanted to show them how bad shape they were in. Guess what? They were in such bad shape, they hated it. 10 push-ups is enough. Well, we're gonna do 10 push-ups now and we'll do five push-ups somewhere else later. By the time you're done, 15 push-ups to a parent who does not work out is enough that they feel the pull the next day, but they're not too sore. And they wake up saying, I can do martial arts. Okay, if you've got someone who's in shape that, that does 100 push-ups a day anyway, you're not gonna get them tired, so that's not who you're catering to. So we're gonna do the little warm-up, we're gonna do the, the punches, we're gonna do the bag work, we're gonna drop down, do 10 pu push-ups, then we're gonna do some kicks, pull out that, do some front kick, side kick, nothing crazy where they can turn their knee, remember they're not really students yet, which by the way brings me to when they sign up for this and they come on the class, they all should fill out a waiver, and your waiver can have all the information ready for them to sign up. So if they do sign up, they're ready to go. Okay. So now, now they've done, done their push-ups, they've done their kicks, they do a, another five push-ups, and now we're gonna learn a form. And if you have very long forms, that's not the key. We're make up a form that has four or five moves. And then what you wanna do is teach the class and then allow the students to actually teach the parents. This is not only cool, it just builds such rapport between the families. After that's done, everybody graduates, teach them something formal, how to bow, how to say thank you, whether you bow, shake hands. Everybody sits down and then everybody is presented with a camo belt that you would have pre-ordered from Century and they are presented with their certificate. Okay? At the end, Everybody gets a big round of applause, they sit down. Now let me tell you something you have to think about. We've had some people that do this and get five or six people to, to, to uh, participate, that's great. We have people that have 100. If you have huge numbers, it's really important that when you're passing out the, the certificate and the belt that this doesn't get boring. You might wanna consider having more than one class on a Friday and a Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, 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 whatever it is, don't let the belt and certificate procedure take 20 minutes where people lose the excitement about what's going on. Okay? So after that, then everybody sits down and now you give a presentation. You say, we're very happy that everybody was able to participate. We think that the value of martial arts in the family is second to no other sport. We're so glad you got to participate with your sons and daughters. We hope that you uh, enjoyed uh, learning the martial arts. Maybe this is something you uh, enjoyed as a child or you've seen your, your children do and you would like to experience. And also you've probably seen that there can be a little bit of a workout. We kept the workout light today because of all different fitness levels, but we hope that you can see that you can get a workout. In addition to this, martial arts, it, it has uh, self-defense and all other aspects that you can participate in. And because of that, we wanna offer you a special. Now, I can't tell you exactly what special you should offer, but I can tell you that the ease of entry needs to be, there needs to be no barriers, okay? Which if you use contracts as we do, and you have down payments as we do, you just wanna make this super easy. So here is our presentation, because it's a group presentation, we're presenting to everybody. I would say 
uh, dads, I want, to, want you to see I have a stack of uniforms right over here to my right. Said, we have your size uniform. What I would like to do is offer everybody an opportunity for this Father's Day special. One, you get your uniform for free and the rest of this month for only $1 when you sign up on our family plan. It's that simple. You don't have to mention the agreement. I made it so there's almost no money. And then if you have the family plan where people get free after two members, you might want to tweak that and say, purchase the uniform, get the next month free. But essentially for us, what we would say is the rest of this month, it's only one week, right? The rest of this month is only $1 and you get the uniform for free, and you get to participate in our family plan and come to, and I might have a schedule with the classes that they're able to participate in. We only do this special during Father's Day, and you have to sign up today for it and have all the paperwork ready to go. Now, I'm gonna give you another tip. Bigger businesses, the martial arts schools, do this all the time, it's across marketing. What you can also do that I highly recommend, and you can offer this special for the whole month, but you re-emphasize it at the Father's Day uh, uh, class, is anybody who also signs up today, here's a $25 gift card to either Home Depot or Lowe's, a local bar or restaurant, and I say bar meaning sports bar or, or, or restaurant, or $25 to some place that you know fathers might enjoy. So that gift card has absolutely nothing to do with martial arts. But for some reason, when people feel they can get something over here that will help incentivize them for this, they sign up. Now keep in mind, it really helps people that are on the edge. Maybe I'm thinking about martial arts. I mean, if I do it now, I get it for a dollar free uniform and 25 bucks to Home Depot, ah, I'll just sign up. So really that gift card that you give always pays off because you only give it away if they signed up. Okay? And it's something that will help get the people on the fence over to sign up. So lots of information, but you got to do a Father's Day class. You got to because if nothing else and nobody signs up, it's unbelievable retention. But if you do it right, you teach a good class, you make it not too hard, but not too easy. You post things online. You do the camo belts. You pass out the certificates. You make everybody feel great about working out with their family and seeing the value of martial arts. Not only will your retention be better for the students, you will get signups from the dads. Please take a look at the box below and that will give you all the information about the flyers, camo belts, and anything you need to host a successful Father's Day class.